Hi everyone, welcome back to Trees and Turtles. My name's Imogen and in today's video I'm taking you on a tour of my college, Castle College, otherwise known as University College Durham. If you're not really subscribed, make sure to do that, give this video a thumbs up, follow me on Instagram and let's get started. First things first, a little bit of context. So I, in case you haven't watched my channel, um, I'm a third year at Durham, I do geography and I like I came to Durham in 2021 and my college was University College which is Castle and it is behind me. Um, basically this is what's shown on all the sort of like Durham University posters and stuff and I actually lived here in first year, I'll show you that in a minute. Right, the first thing I want to show you, probably the most, one of the most impressive is like the walk up to the gatehouse which is right in front of us. Um, bells as if on cue, that's actually from the cathedral, um, obviously but like yeah, so they've got like, the Porter's Lodge is here. Um, this is the gatehouse and there's the sort of the archway itself. Um, so let's go inside. It's worth noting actually that if you want a tour, um, then you actually have to book tickets. Like the only reason I can take you inside is because I'm a student and I live here and it's my college. Um, so yeah, you can book guided tours though and people do all the time. You can book them from the Palace Green Library. So this was my view like two years ago when I came in amazing, like, Wow. Right, the first thing I want to show you, this is Junction. Specifically, this room um, was my room in first year, and so it has a really nice view. Just above the Junction, we've got the Keep. This is all student accommodation up there, so actually, like, tourists can't go up there. Um, but yeah, this is Junction just below the Keep, and there are, a, like, it doesn't look that far up, but there are deceptively many stairs. Moving in and out at the end of every term, because you've got to move in and out, because it's a, it's a hotel and a museum out of term. Um, yeah. Um, that was that was definitely um, a challenge, but really amazing to live here. Like astonishingly good. This is the clock tower, um, so named because it is a clock tower. Um, <laughs> this is actually it contains some student accommodation as well. But I've like been looking at this like when I come back from a night out, and it's been like one or two a.m. So I have many memories of this clock tower. Um, along here we got the Norman Gallery, and I'll show you inside in a minute. But if you go up the stairs inside the clock tower you'll come to the Tunstall channel cha chapel rather on the right um, so let's go have a look all right in we go up the stairs it really echoes in here um, but I mean it's a castle so it's gonna really echo in here and oh no I think it's closed is it closed let's see no it's locked okay I'll have to put some like photos on the screen of the Tunstall Chapel that's um it must be like going, undergoing repairs or something but this this is the Norman Gallery so I'm really glad all the lights are on today the Tunstall Gallery rather but the Norman Gallery is like around here um but the lights are on today and they've got like this is kind of the museum part of the building so they've got like an old chest William Pitt um so there's a whole exhibition going on here which sort of all year round and yeah just a lot about the history of the castle and so forth it's a really nice walk through again I believe you can come here on the guided tour I don't know because I've not been on a guided tour since first year these are the sort of like historic like black stairs um, and they're sort of decorated and stuff they needed sort of extensive restoration and maintenance and you know maintaining the castle is expensive but we do get world heritage funding so that's good this is the entrance through to the bishop's dining room so if we go in here i can only show you a little bit but like that's it basically i can't go in there at the moment because someone's studying in there but like it's the sort of dining room where the, oh dear it's the sort of dining room where the like prince bishops of durham used to hang out anyway i'm going to show you the great hall and minstrels gallery next all right i'm in hall stairs so named because hall and stairs obviously um these stairs are they lead up to student accommodation but they also lead up to minstrels gallery which overlooks the great hall so i'm going to show you that in a minute um i'm also going to show you the low library but it might have to just be pictures because i can't actually talk when i'm filming in there or i'll do a voiceover but anyway first of all minstrels gallery all right here we are in minstrels gallery overlooking the great hall this is used for a lot of like social events and also up in minstrels gallery is where the choir often stands it's also a study space so lots of uses for this space as you can see like there's a lot of portraits on the wall of principals 
Here's the view from the top floor of the Low Library, which is reserved for finalists, i.e. final years. As you can see, it's really quiet, plenty of books, so really relaxing study space overall. I actually need to go up here more. Right, time for us to head back downstairs. They've got a cute little spiral staircase. Next, I'm going to show you Fellows Garden. OK, we're back out in the courtyard. This is the entrance to Fellows Garden. I can't show you at the moment because it's locked, but I'll add some photos of Fellows Garden if I can find some. Um, but it's basically this really cute little green space that's, like, walled in, and they have, like welfare stuff going on during exam season so they have welfare dogs for example um i pr can probably find a photo of me with a welfare dog okay that's mostly it for this little tour but i just thought i'd go on a little rant here about how nice it was to live in obviously the aesthetics are one part of it um and it is stunningly gorgeous here as you can see from the stuff I've managed to show you but um, one of the best things honestly about being in college is this sort of like pre-made community if that makes sense like I'm an introvert as you all know if you've been watching my channel for a while you'll know I'm a massive introvert and I sometimes I might I find making friends really hard so when I came to this college it was like a social community that I could just sort of like join and it was really really helpful and also just I actually had a roommate in first year as well, so I got to like I got to know someone new that way. Um, but yeah, no, it was just a been like a wonderful opportunity, and I recognise that I'm really really lucky, and that's partly why I wanted to make this video is because I really wanted to like um, share my experience with you. Obviously, like a misconception that a lot of people have is if you get into this college, you're automatically going to live in Castle. That's not the case. There's a bunch of like other buildings so there's Bailey Court there's Moatside there's Owen Gate and then there's Kepia uh, if I've I feel like I've missed one if I've missed one I'll put it on the screen but um and then there's obviously Castle Walls um and like it is the minority who like a, a minority of people who live in Castle Walls it's mostly first years and third years if you're a second year you won't get in if that makes sense because they only they only let I think they let 50 freshers and 50 finalists live in so I was l very very lucky and it just depends on the sort of how the allocation works out like your preferences form and and so on and so forth so you can't really like you can't guarantee it is what I'm saying um but yeah anyway like an extremely unique experience and something that I've been like very very privileged to have like been through I guess um so yeah I think that's all I wanted to say if you have questions obviously about college life I know this video is kind of not about that but if you have questions about college life like drop them in the comments because I would be more than happy to answer any questions you have um but yeah I think I just wanted like the aim of this video was just me walking around my college and going wow guys look um <laughs> because yeah at the end of the day you know what university can be challenging but I absolutely and genuinely do love it here so I love that. Like, I'm getting emotional now. I love Castle, okay? <laughs> All right, if you're not already subscribed, make sure to do that. Give this video a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram, and I will see you soon. More Castle videos? You want them? In the comments. All right, bye.